Hi there, Pisces. This is your reading with me for April, May and June. So we're going to have a look, see what is coming through. Got your cards right here. We're going to do like a little sneak peek into each of the months, which I think is going to be pretty interesting. Very exciting. We'll definitely see what's coming through and how all the messages come about. So I'm very excited and I hope that you are as well. All right, so we'll definitely have a nice little look um, and we'll see what is going on. So I do have this new cute little background and uh, yeah, I hope you <laughs> hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so let's begin. Oh, I just wanted to mention if you'd like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. Last thing I want to mention is my Etsy store. So it's Moonlight Tarot Store and Etsy. There's intention manifesting items such as handmade bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse, uh, which are hand embroidered by me as well. Check out the review section to see how other people have seen results with these items. And there's also crystals, divination coins, pendulums, cloths, bowls, um, charms, face masks, etc. So from me to you, everything's meditated with and saged, and the link is in the description box below. Okay, so Pisces. Oh, first card is the Six of Pentacles. It's so interesting. I was literally just trying to, you know, just, I was just like putting this pentacle here. These are actually six pentacles right here. So I feel like the fact that I kind of touched that and then I just felt this energy towards this is pretty significant, very, very strong. Um, <laughs> not that that influences things in that way, but I just feel like sometimes, you know, things happen, I where I say things and then they get reflected in the cards. It's pretty strong intuition, I feel. So the Six of Pentacles definitely shows a return on all of the good work that you do in April. I think that this is great. You know how sometimes you work really hard and you feel like nobody's really watching, you feel a bit invisible, or you may feel like, wow, I'm putting in all of this work, but I don't, I'm not getting rewarded in the way that I should. So for what's happening for you here, Pisces, in uh, April, is that you're getting rewarded. So you might be getting a promotion or you might be getting um, more recognition for what you're doing. And I feel that people will really be looking at what you're doing. So what I would say is stay consistent, keep doing what you're doing, it's working, people are noticing, and they will notice more and more as time goes by here in, of course, April. So that's great. The Six of Pentacles definitely shows a return. Okay, of course we've got these two four of swords here, resting, make sure just as equally as you're working hard, you are resting hard. You can play hard too, there we go, Knight of Wands, you know, you can play hard too, but I would definitely recommend that you do rest and you take care of yourself in that sense, because you may be quite exhausted. The Knight of Wands is about sort of going towards goals, it's about really going towards the things that you want to achieve, and really progressing towards those particular elements. So I definitely see you working very, very hard, and I think that that's obviously a really great thing to see here. Now the Four of Swords is quite important, because it is about making sure that you get enough adequate adequate, adequate, you know what I mean, you get enough, you get enough, um, good amount of rest, um, and sleep, some of you might be meditating, and sort of taking care of yourself in that sense, or even napping, um, that can definitely really help you also in terms of your energy levels, right, because if you're doing so much all the time, you do need some energy, so that can really help, um, it's a little bit like, you know, using the phone all the time, the phone needs also some time to, um, charge, you know, so, Okay, so the same thing also with like um, electric cars and things like that, right? Like if we're constantly, constantly using them, there will come a time where they need topping up. A bit like actually normal cars as well, to be honest, you know, they need fuel. So um, make sure you give yourself that rest. Three of pentacles. Yeah, see, this is all about really working hard and just having your work being recognized. See, that's the thing here is that these people kind of looking as to what this person here is doing in regards to the work that they're doing, the work that they're putting on, putting, um, yeah, putting it in. So that's definitely connecting in a very significant way. The three also doubles to the six. So it just goes to show that you will get much more recognition, perhaps even double the recognition. Um, and, and for some of you that feel invisible, you will be recognized. So the Knight of Wands here shows that you are going towards your goals. You are going towards having that achievement. You're feeling much better. You're, you have a lot more energy. I would say, of course, that if you're working hard all the time, make sure that you do rest. It's just one of those things. So a lot of focus here, mainly in April, is to do with work. 
I think that this is a beautiful blessing though. We should count this as a blessing and the reason why is because a lot of you have hoped for more recognition, a lot of you have hoped perhaps even for more money because there can be a, a raise or a promotion that I see that can happen here. For those of you that have really been wanting a job, this can also be a breakthrough where you actually get an offer. So things like that I do see here. Um, and for those of you in education, your work's being recognised, you're being understood, you could also get a very good grade um, in, in this sense, you know, being recognised again for your work. I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but it's there, it's there, I'm just emphasising it. <laughs> Okay, now we go to May. These two cards here just came out. So let's see, it's the Nine of Pentacles here. You feel good within yourself, and I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. I was going to say slow and steady because I literally just saw this tiny little scale, that is, not scale, snail. Scales are here, <laughs> snail here. And it makes a lot of sense because the Knight of Pentacles is pretty, pretty slow but steady, and so is the Knight, Nine of Pentacles. They sound so similar to say. So I feel like you're working towards this common goal that you have within yourself, right? Which is about going towards abundance, success, slowly but surely, like making things happen. And I also feel like one of the beautiful blessings here in this month, in May, is that you feel happy and content within yourself. You feel fulfilled, you feel appreciated, you feel abundant, not just, I feel, financially, but also emotionally, mentally, spiritually. You feel abundant. That's good. Right, so the Knight of Pentacles shows an opportunity as well. See, Temperance here shows that you feel patient, you feel happy, you feel content, you feel fulfilled. Good, good. I like that. I like it for you. That's that's the thing, is that it just goes to show that there is a good amount of happiness here. You know, coming from within yourself, and I think that's priceless. Uh, speaking of, you know, snails and scales, we've got the Justice card as well. Everything that I feel like I'm saying is just relating to the cards. It's uh, it's really quite a significant thing. Um, I also want to say as well, ever since I've got this new background, I feel like something has really shifted with the readings, and there's something really quite powerful um, in regards to it, because, you know, I, I feel like I again, I, I kind of think of something and it just kind of reflects into the reading. So there's a there's a big boost that's just happened recently. <laughs> I can't explain it, but it's, it's, I mean, it's always kind of been there, but it's just been elevated, I would say. Okay, so justice here is about things returning back around, okay? So this is your good karma coming back around. Now, if someone also did you wrong in the past, they are coming back around to apologise, I feel. So your good karma is coming back around. Now, it depends on the nature of that person. If that person has this huge ego, then it can take them a lot more longer to apologise to you. But I feel like people that just recognise things very quickly, they recognise things very significantly in that sense, they can come back around and apologise. Now, this could be from anyone. So this could be a romantic person from the past. This could be a friend. This could be a family member. This could be a work colleague or someone that you if you're in school, you know, this could be someone you go to school with, who comes back around and wants to apologise. So justice here shows that what's what's happening essentially is your good karma is coming back around to you, right? And what goes around comes around, but also things are being resolved, right? Resolved within yourself, resolved within your heart, resolved within the things that you felt you were invisible in regards to. The Hierophant here is beautiful because it shows, again, that slow but steady pace, as well as temperance, right? Temperance is also that sort of slow but steady um, pace. Yes, it's Sagittarius, but it's very, very progressive rather than just, like, super quick. So the Hierophant here shows that there is a sense of authority where you feel finally like you have power. Finally, like, people are seeing you. You don't feel so invisible. You feel heard, seen, spoken about. You feel understood as well. Okay, so... It's a real great sense of development happening here. I actually feel like this is so... For, for those of you that have just felt really unheard and invisible, and invisible at times, this is a breakthrough. Biggest blessing. You know, these are huge blessings. I feel like these are your biggest blessings yet. Look at that. Ten of pentacles. Going from the nine to the ten. There's a, there's a gradual progression that I see over these months, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful Pisces. What's happening here is that your blessings are rising, um, they're getting stronger. Going from the 9 to the 10, there's a sense of fulfillment, we've got the Empress that just flipped over as well. You know, it's, it's that sense of power that we see here, you know, real sense of power. And also, you've got three scales, you've got all the cards with the scales in it. 
you've got the Six of Pentacles, which has the scales. You've got Justice here in the following month. So in April, you've got scales. May, you've got scales. And also in June, you've got scales. Ta-da! Literally right there. These are the only three cards in tarot that do have scales, I believe, from my knowledge so far. <laughs> um, so, oh, wow. June is a big month for you, right? June is really when everything is the best it could be in terms of the next few months because I see here this harvest. I see you feeling very proud of your surroundings, feeling very happy with the work that you've put in. The Ten of Pentacles is a lot of happiness, a lot of growth. It's about feeling stable in your home environment. It's about feeling stable from within yourself. Also feeling extremely loved. So there could be a big shift in regards to love that happens here in um, June. Six of Wands is about happiness and celebration and success. So there's a huge shift. It could also be that you settle into your career or that you are feeling so loved and so happy there could be a marriage or a proposal or something that's happening here which is very very big now this is very general and I do apologize for that but I definitely feel that there is a big love message here because you've got the high referent in this month and then the high priestess following through and to me this really does go to show that there's something really big happening for you in love now for those of you that are completely single what it can be very much so is that there's someone that just appears here in June and completely just blows your mind. And for those of you in a situation, it can be that things are progressively getting better. And for those of you that are with someone, I mean, there's, there's, there's a higher level of commitment for sure that I do pick up. Now, even if you're married, you know, there could be some kind of progression that does happen here, um, specifically in June. So that is something we're seeing. But I feel like the energies overall are just really strong, very potent, very powerful and uh, really actually very very lovely and I think that this is wonderful to see I mean big big blessings you know going from the nine to the ten of pentacles I mean that's pretty significant and you've got the high, high priestess and the hierophant too so it's got um Pisces this is your reading you're literally right here as well feeling so much like yourself more than ever before so June is a big big month um it's, it's pretty impressive, especially to have the Empress there as well. You're really sitting in your power, whether you're male or female, and you're feeling pretty good. So that's your reading. Take care, stay safe, and uh, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on Etsy, and definitely do take care as well. All right, so that is what we have there. And yeah, stay safe. Bye.